this is going to be a quick review uh, and of course my thoughts on a on a uh, audio book by the name of Old Man's War and it's read uh, read by who let me go and find out it's by John Scalzi the author is John Scalzi Audio Renaissance presents Old Man's War by John Scalzi Old Man's War by John Scalzi read by read for you by William DeFries William DeFries the the reader is all right it's good I like him uh, but of course my pet P my pet P for audiobooks is when the reader wants to change his uh, his gender so he's a guy the reader is a guy so he wants to speak like a woman so it becomes more feminine uh, and I was on it so he changes his his what do you call it lowers his uh, higher makes his octave a bit higher I think that's how they say it I'm not mix it makes his voice the pitch of his voice higher to uh, try to simulate a woman's voice so it's kind of like annoying and very very disturbing yeah it's very disturbing when you have friends uh, some of them might be a bit on the girly side and it's kind of like mmm I want to punch you in the face so it's how I felt when when the reader was trying to have a girl's voice trying to portray a female's voice I just want to punch him in the face so besides that there's nothing much to say about it it's perfect narration from the narrator story wise if you love Joe Helderman's The Forever War then you will surely love this I would rate Joe Helderman's Forever War a 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 this one would get about a 7 to 8 out of 10 so it has a lot of similarities uh, between this Omen's War and the Forever War a lot even the love aspect to it what happened the end uh, battle a bit of scenario to it it's it's really like trading the same going through the same plot points as the forever war so I'm I was quite curious are they like the same person the same author is uh, John Scalzi a pen name for Joe Helderman I'm not sure it's very strange that they are very similar in plot in the forever war they play with the time dilation Whereas in this one, it's more like technology and telling you that uh, they jump from one place to another by going through dimensions. Uh, but they did not flesh it out that much in Old Man's War, these dimensional changes from one dimension to another. There's uh, not much to it. The... How would I say? I liked it. I liked it a lot, this Old Man's War because I like Forever War so I'll give it a recommend it's good stuff and thank god there were not many characters in this uh, old man's war because when it comes to audiobooks when you're listening to it the names of the characters will not register in the brain it won't like it won't embed itself into your brain oh this character is his name is this one and that one and that one and that one if you would we if you were to read a book you'll be using your visual eye your you'll be visually confirming the name that you see to the person who is speaking you get what i mean you get my drift you'll be like it's like writing writing uh, writing is very good for spell checking or making sure your spelling is correct uh, is better than typing because of uh, muscle memory you get used to writing it so you always uh, will instinctively do the correct thing or correct uh, spelling of course it's the same with uh, with uh, typing on a keyboard uh, to get this, the right spelling but writing is uh, much better 
from my point of view. So muscle memory is very very important. Uh, if you want to learn things, it's best to write it down. That's why the people say that if you are using iPad and using keyboard, you won't learn as much as when you are writing it down. It's best to write it down, just to have a better, uh, to have that that spelling or that knowledge be uh, implanted in your brain more securely or more firmly uh, instead of just scrolling through the iPad and just reading it. It's not as strong. It won't, that, that knowledge won't entrench into your brain as much as writing it down. That's all I'm trying to say. So when you're reading a book, when you read the names, it registers in your brain and it stays in your brain more often than when you're just hearing that name. So there are not many characters to remember in Old Man's War, so that's a good thing. And I don't even remember the main character's name because it's just... I'm not sure, I just... Uh, I, I listened to this story, uh, this novel, over the past 3-4 days. Yeah, 3-4 days while doing my Gundams, which is uh, this one. Uh, Shah Aznabur Zaku 2. While I was putting it together and putting stickers now, I was just listening to the audiobook. As all audiobooks, you are supposed to do something else while listening to it, be it jogging, gardening, whatever, something, something, something. Just to like distract you from the monotonous or monotonity. Is there such a word? It's monotonity. From the monotonous labor that you are doing, such as building a model, gardening, jogging and god forbid uh, driving don't don't listen to listen to a audiobook while you're driving because it's quite dangerous so good stuff it's nice it's almost similar to the forever war which had me in tears the first time i read forever war by joel hellerman the last one one page i was like going to cry because of the love interest and it was similar almost similar to this old man's war so both of them they have the same ending it's like a love ending which is bitter and sweet that's why i wanted to cry it's not the because of the onions that i was chopping while i was listening to the audiobook no not that it's because my emotions were being played with by the book and the author john scalzi go get it I got this uh, sample copy from YouTube, but that uh, channel is gone because copyright.